We're all a little bit nervous about someone just deleting our shit. It's a wild west. But Google Sheets is by far the best way to work with freelancers. It's easy to add someone to a sheet and then remove them when they're no longer working with your team. Everyone knows how to use it. And you can see revision histories. So you can always see who made what changes at what times. Worst comes to worst, you can always roll back a sheet to an earlier revision. At Coding is for Losers, we work with tons of freelancers on our projects. We found that following a simple framework for designing and collaborating in Sheets will keep your team productive and your data safe. As always on Sheets Workout, we'll walk through three things. What the framework is, how to deploy it, and lastly, a free template so you can make it your own. Let's go. Our Sheets templates always include a getting started tab. This removes any ambiguity about how the sheet works. You can just share your sheet with the freelancer, point them to the instructions, and away they go. The data validation feature in Sheets is your best friend when you're working with freelancers. It makes drop down menus so your team can select from a list of options. We always keep our data validation options on one settings tab. It guarantees that freelancers won't freestyle when they're working in your sheets. Our instinct is to give a freelancer a specific silo to work in, a tab or a sheet that's just theirs and no one else will touch it. But this clogs everything up. You end up with sheets and tabs here and there. You can't aggregate them all up. It's pretty annoying. Instead, you can keep your data in one home, one tab, one database style setup, and instead use filter views Filter views allows a freelancer to just see the data that they need, not seeing everyone else's data, not overwriting someone else's work, but just viewing the data they need. We like to keep our sheets focused around specific tasks. We do this with what's called the hub and spoke model. If we have a main sheet, which is say the project management sheet, and then we'll have task specific spoke sheets like for content management or outreach campaign management, whatever it is, all of our spokes along the wheel that have different freelancers working in those, in those tasks. This keeps everything organized and clean because people are only working in the sheet that they need. Shh, I have a secret. There's some stuff that doesn't belong in Google Sheets. I know. It's crazy for me to say. Often the best way to work with freelancers is to give them a specific tool that's better for the job. If you're doing reporting, you might want to use Google Data Studio. If you're doing some really heavy data analysis, you might want to use Google BigQuery. Sheets is beautiful, but it's not by any means the only tool in the toolbox. Follow the link below to dive deeper into this framework and pick up our free project management template in Sheets. And we'll see you again in another episode of The Sheets Workout by Coding is for Losers. One, two, three. That's a wrap.